In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot your jet pump. This is valid for both shallow well and convertible deep well jet pump installations. Warning! Disconnect the pump from electricity before performing any work on this product. If your pump will not start or run, these are the things you need to check. Make certain that the power source voltage matches the pump voltage. This pump has a dual voltage motor and can run on 115 volt or 230 volt service. It is preset at the factory to run on 230 volt service. To change pump voltage, remove the square voltage switch cover at the top of the pump and move the voltage switch as shown. The pump may be wired incorrectly. Connect the two wires from the power supply to the two open terminals on the pressure switch. Connect the green ground wire from the power supply to the open green ground screw in the pressure switch. You might have blown a fuse or circuit breaker. Replace the fuse or close the circuit breaker. You may have loose or broken wiring. Check all wiring connections. There could be a stone or foreign object lodged in the impeller. Disassemble the pump and remove the foreign object. The thermal overload protector has opened its circuit. Allow the pump to cool. Determine why the overload occurred. Correct the problem and restart the pump. If your pump will not deliver water or develop pressure, check the following. The pump may not be primed correctly. All pumps must be primed by filling the cavity with water before they are first operated. This will take several gallons of water as the suction line must be filled in addition to the cavity of the pump. Depending on the length of suction pipe, many gallons may be needed to fill the entire system. Prime the pump. Remove the pressure gauge or discharge T plug from the top of the discharge T. Remove the vent plug in front of the discharge T. Slowly fill the discharge T with water until water overflows the vent plug opening. Note, before turning on the pump, loosely replace the vent plug and open several outlets or faucets to allow water flow during priming. Check to be sure water in the cavity of the pump stays constant. If the water level goes down, it could indicate a leak in the foot valve, check valve, or suction line. If water remains constant, wrap the pressure gauge or discharge T plug and vent plug threads with thread tape and thread into the pump. Tighten with a wrench. There could be a leak in the suction line. Check for leaks and repair or replace as needed. The discharge line might be closed. Open the ball valve and several outlets or faucets to allow for flow. The foot valve may have a leak. Replace the foot valve. The suction screen might be clogged. Clean or replace the screen. If the pump delivers little or no water, check for these issues. The pump may not be primed correctly. Refer back to the priming instructions earlier in this video. The suction lift may be too high or too long. Move the pump closer to your water source. There may be a hole or air leak in the suction line. Replace or repair using pipe tape and pipe sealing compound. The foot valve may be too small. Match the foot valve size to the size of the piping or install one size larger foot valve. The foot valve or suction line may not be submerged deep enough in the water. Lower the foot valve or suction line so it is completely under the water, even when the pump is operating. The motor may be wired incorrectly. See wiring instructions earlier in this video or refer to the quick start guide or owner's manual. The gasket inside the pump housing may be leaking. Replace the gasket. You may have valves in the suction line or discharge line closed. Open all valves. If your pump vibrates and or makes excessive noise, these are the things you should check. The mounting plate or foundation may not be rigid enough. Reinforce the mounting plate or foundation. There may be foreign material in the pump. Disassemble the pump and clean out any debris. The impeller in the pump may be damaged. Replace the impeller. 
if the pump cycles on and off quickly, won't shut off, or pumps too little or too much pressure, the pressure in your tank may be set incorrectly. Completely drain all water from the tank by turning off the pump and opening a faucet until water stops. Use a tire gauge to ensure that it is set to 18 PSI. Use a tire pump to adjust the precharge to 18 PSI. If water leaks from the air release valve, replace the pressure tank. Thanks for watching. For more information and links to our other installation, repair, and troubleshooting videos, please see the description below.